Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you three easy Instant Pot recipes. So in case you didn't know, I'm Kristen. I am sister number two from SixSistersStuff.com. Today is Monday, so I'm sharing with you an Instant Pot recipe, but today I'm actually sharing with you three delicious Instant Pot recipes. They are one with pork chops, one with ground beef, and the other one with ham, because of course, Easter yesterday, I did make that ham for dinner. Now before I get started, be sure if you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel, and of course, push that little bell to get all of our notifications. All right guys, let's head on over to the kitchen and make these Instant Pot recipes. The first recipe today is Instant Pot Pork Chops. First, you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to your pot. Now, I got these pork chops on sale and there are quite a few, so I'm actually only gonna cook about half of them. So I push the saute button on my Instant Pot and then I'm putting about three pork chops down, kind of mix it around in the oil so it spreads around. Just putting three down so I can sear them. Once they've cooked for about a minute, then I'm gonna take some tongs and just flip them right over. So I'm actually using little tongs at first, and then you'll see on the third one, I switch over to some longer tongs so the oil doesn't pop up and touch me. Now, when you're done cooking them on each side, you're just going to pull them out and stick them right on a plate and cook some more. Now, just like the other ones, I'm gonna stick these on about three at a time and then flip them after about 30 seconds to a minute. Now the saute button is still on on my Instant Pot. Now you just flip them over when you're done and you are good to go. Now once I put them in my plate, I'm gonna leave my saute button still on and I'm gonna add one cup of chicken broth. <laughs> Be careful, it gets a little steamy. Next, I'm just gonna add my pork chops right back in into my Instant Pot. Now I'm gonna cook a side dish along with it. So I have some thick carrots that I cut and peeled, and then also just some potatoes I'm just gonna throw in there. You can add your favorite seasonings like salt and pepper, and then put the lid on. And don't forget to make your knob on sealing, not venting. I'm gonna set it to on, and then I'm gonna push manual and then it's gonna be cooking for eight minutes. When it's done, you're gonna do a quick release and open up the lid. Now this is a little bit different because you're actually just gonna pull your pork chops out of your Instant Pot. I pulled a few potatoes out so I can pull the pork chops out. Now my carrots, you could pull out right now, but I like them really, really soft for my little daughter. So I'm putting my potatoes back in and cooking my carrots for about 10 more minutes. Now it's not gonna take very long to pressurize because everything's already really hot in there. Now when it's done, I did a quick release. So that means I turned the knob to venting and let the, all the steam out. And then I just opened it up. If the potatoes are still too hard for you, you can go ahead and do a few more minutes, but I like mine a little bit more firm. Then I'm just gonna pull everything out of the pan. Now I like to cook my potatoes. I can mash them and make them mashed potatoes with salt and pepper. And my carrots, I just add a little bit of salt onto them. To make things really quick, I just grabbed some store-bought gravy and poured it on top of my pork chops and mashed potatoes. All right, next I'm gonna make one pot instant pot spaghetti. So I like to use ground turkey. You can use ground beef if you'd like. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of my Instant Pot. Turn your Instant Pot on and push the saute button. Next, I'm just gonna throw in one pound of my ground turkey. And I do a half of an onion. You can do a whole onion if you want, but my family doesn't really like onions, so we do half an onion. Now this is called a chopster. If you've never heard of one, it's amazing when you're cooking ground beef or ground turkey. It just literally chops and stirs it up. <laughs> I got mine on Amazon for like six or seven dollars. I'll do a link in the description for those of you who are looking for one. Now you want your ground turkey or ground beef to be mostly cooked. It's okay if there's a little bit of pink, but mostly cooked. So now you're gonna add a half a pound of spaghetti noodles. So that's half of this box. Now you're gonna break the spaghetti noodles in half and spread them all around the meat. 
the more spread out they are, the better they will cook. And notice how I did some going one way and some going another way. That makes them cook a little bit better. Next, I'm going to add one can of diced tomatoes. Now, you don't have to add the tomatoes. I just like a few more chunks in my spaghetti. After the tomatoes, I'm going to add one jar of your favorite spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce or whatever you like to put on your spaghetti. Just one whole jar. Now, the trick is to cover all of the noodles, so there should be no noodles showing at all. Then put your lid on and make sure that it's on sealing, not venting. You're going to cook this, going to turn it on. It was on saute, then you turned it on. Then you're going to do manual and up to eight minutes. Now because the sauce was thick, I let this release on its own. And then I mixed it up. I like to serve my spaghetti with rolls and a, a side salad of some sort. And my last recipe is Instant Pot Honey Baked Ham. All right, and my last one is Instant Pot Honey Baked Ham. Now this is the ham that we had yesterday for Easter, and it was so quick and easy that my husband suggested we have this all the time. Now with this ham, it wasn't spiralized cut. I would highly suggest getting one of those because then you could put the mixture in between each piece of ham. So these dump and go recipes are my favorite. So I'm literally just dumping in a half a cup of brown sugar. On top of that, I'm pouring on about a half a cup of honey. Now because I need a little bit more liquid, I'm adding also on top one cup of water. Now you're going to put the lid on, close it, and make sure it's on sealing, not venting. Now this is a pre-cooked ham, so I'm going to push manual and turn it on for 8 to 10 minutes. Now when it's done cooking, let the ham release on its own for about 20 minutes. Then open it up and it will smell so good. Then when it's all done cooking, I'm just going to put it right onto a plate and shred it. But my secret is, if you push saute, that sauce will thicken up and you can pour it on your ham when you're done. I'll also put a link in the description to those cheesy potatoes. They are one of my favorites. All right, guys, those are my three Instant Pot recipes today. If you like these Instant Pot recipes, I would love if you could share it, comment, and of course, like it. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. See you later.